I'm here at Walmart and I'm going to be looking to see if we can find any Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary because I just haven't opened enough yet. Metapoo? No. Crown Zenith? Speed Duel? Anything? Ooh, if we could buy these and get scammed real quick, that'd be fun. There's some stuff in here, but not what we're looking for. I think we're gonna grab these two. This is the only thing I really want. Maybe a Starlight Stratos. I don't see anything else in here that I really want, so we'll grab these two. I think they lowered the price to 333, which is interesting. All right, I grabbed two blisters because Burst of Destiny, we haven't pulled a lot of the Starlights. So you guys know we got to pull all the Starlights, but there wasn't any Legendary Collection. It was empty, unfortunately. So I might go check somewhere else and see if we can find something there. We have some packs. Here's what we're looking for. More of the scam packs. But really, this is what we're here for. This is about all I see here, to be honest. Other than that, it's just these and not much else. Exodia, make it happen. All right, we found what we were looking for. It's real bright out here, but hey, it was worth the, I think it drove like 30 minutes to get this, so it was worth it. Let's go open it. All right, guys, here we have our blisters. We bought a Crystal Revenge, two Burst of Destiny first edition. Then we bought two Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary. The total cost for this was $78.63, I think, exactly. So we're gonna see if we can pull our value back. We'll have the counter on the screen. We're starting in the negative at $78.63, but we're gonna try to make our way back and see what we can pull here. But before we get into it, our giveaway is every card we pull in this video. So hopefully we make our money back so you guys can have a nice giveaway. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about 25th anniversary and these type of videos where I go to Walmart to try to find cool stuff and open them up. All right, I'm going to start off with a legendary collection 25th anniversary and open this up. Then we'll get to the blisters in the middle and then we'll open up a final one. So let's see what we got as our promos. All right, so we are going to uh, open this up and value this not with a general one, but every single card. So it looks like we know what we got as our 25th anniversary because all these value cards should or the values of all these cards should be out now. So we got obelisk, slifer. These are probably not very much each blue eyes, but you guys will be seeing on the screen. Dark Magician, Red Eyes, and then we have an Obelisk, the Tormentor, which definitely will be worth something, and adding back to our 78 bucks that we uh, have spent. So there's a very nice Obelisk right there. I mean, it's my favorite one. I've said this many times in our 25th anniversary openings. So that's a good start for you guys. All right, let's open our packs. Let's start off with the Dark Crisis 25th anniversary pack. We've opened a lot of these packs so far, but I'm never going to get tired of opening these old school packs. I'm not going to lie. We've got Sakuretsu Armor, Frozen Soul. Shooting Star Bro Seal, Dice Reroll, we got the Drag Down to the Grave, Gaga Gigo, P.O. I fear for, I almost said P for some reason, I don't know what's going on, Fear from the Dark, and an Iron Blacksmith Katetsu, so not sure what I was trying to say there, but next up we have Spell Ruler, not Magic Ruler, Spell Ruler, it's been changed in 2003, so it's been 20 years since it got changed, alright, we have a Metal Fish, he's a metal, he's a fish, we have Mystic Plasma Zone, Kotodama, Hungry Burger, very nice, uh, Darth Maul, the Reliable Guardian, Mystic Tomato, Oh, and a Mystical Space Typhoon Ultra Rare with an upstart. So that could be money as well. So Mystical Space Typhoon definitely adding back to our value. So, hey, we're going to make our money back? Probably not, but we're on a good pace. Okay, pace is the wrong word there, because I think if you actually did the math with the packs, we amount of packs we have left are probably not on a good pace. But we're doing better than zero. You know what I'm saying? We've made a couple cards back. Amphibious Bugroth, very nice. We have a Chaos Necromancer. Salvage, come on, let's get something from IOC. Boganian, Sylphid, can we get that secret rare? Can we get a Blacklister Soldier? Something like that. We got a Pinch Hopper, a Robin Zombie, and we have a Tower of Babel. That's not it. All right, we still got three packs left. Pharaoh Servant, Genzo, that could give us a lot of our value. If we get a big secret rare, that could really help us potentially get our value back. First, we're gonna start off with the Bubonic Vermin, the little rat, the little mouse, the little hamster, whatever he is. Sky Scout, formerly known as Harpy's brother, but yeah, you guys know they've changed the names on these new 25th anniversary. So sad. Invitation to the Dark Sleep, DNA Surgery, Reign of Mercy, Science Soldier, a soldier of science, Forced Requisition, and a Limiter Removal. Hey, that's a super rare. I don't know if it's going to hold up for much value, but we'll see. Maybe it's a dollar. Now we have the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Can we pull the Blue Eyes White Dragon? I still have not pulled a Dark Magician out of these 25th anniversary, so. That'd be pretty nice as well. I mean, I'd take Blue Eyes or Dark Magician, Red Eyes, Exodia, all those I'd take. I didn't pull Exodia either, I don't think. We have a Man Eater, Yurabi, Terror of the Terrible. It's been hard to pull those high-end LOB cards. Everything else we're pulling, though. Hard Armor, 
Tyone, we got a Hane Hane, and will there be a foil in the LOB pack? No, it's a mountain, which, look, I used to, I like the first editions and the originals of this because they have a really nice green, but they've changed it with the new one. It's just more of a normal green now. I don't like it as much. I don't really have a problem with changing up to, to the new cards, but something I really like about LOB first are the spell cards or, mag or slash, they're magic cards in LOB first. They look really, really good. We have a Trent. There we go. Little uh, Lord of the Rings action. Larva Cousin Moth. Let's go. Can we get that Picanio? Prevent Rat. Is it going to prevent us from the Picanio? We'll see. Mega Thunderball. Labyrinth Tank. It has support now. It's Stimpak. Mask of Darkness. And a Rabbit Horseman. Kaiba beating up Joey. Has begun again. All right. Time to check out our three blisters. Let's do a Burst of Destiny first. I'm looking to uh, attempt to pull that Strato Starlight Rare. If I pull that and that's in the giveaway, it's going to hurt a little bit, but it would be pretty awesome to pull it. We have a Beach Trooper Landing, a Penguin Ninja, Magnificent Magicky Moff Teal. So we went from old school to new, and there's a lot more names on these new cards. Giant Starfall, Gemini's Lord Gold Knight, Rebuild Deer, and an Ice Jade Cradle. That is a super rare, so uh, no, nothing in there. All right, let's try the Battles of Legend. Crystal Revenge will end with a Burst of Destiny. Burst of Destiny, it's already getting a lot reprinted, so not a ton of value in there right now, but hey, look, Stratos will probably get a 25th anniversary rare, and who needs the Starline anymore anyway, apparently. I guess that's how it works. We have a Crystal Beast, Topaz Tiger, nice card. Rainbow Bridge, feels like there's no cards in here, which there's only five, but it feels like even less. Blackwing, Vayu, the Emblem of Honor, Nice Secret, Hieratic Seal, that's also a good card, and Breeze. Pretty solid pack right there from Crystal Revenge, but not a Starlight. All right, last Burst of Destiny, then we go on to our Legendary Collection. I don't know if we're making our money back today at this rate. It's not looking too good, but we've at least made some of it back, I guess. Come on, one, two, three. We have an your Sartic Dry Town. I think it's four from the back, and I did three. Oh, well, Sword Soul Blackout, that's a great common. Uh, Sinet Cross Wipe, Sinet Cascade, Magic Key Battle, Sonic Tracker might be the next one. Ooh, and the ultimate flagship, Ursatron. So that's just a super rare as well. So those blisters didn't turn out very nice. All right, our final item that we bought, Legendary Collection 25th. Let's see how much we need to break even here. Uh, it's not looking too promising here, but hey, look, we've got a promo pack in here, which is going to add some value. And then, of course, we've got some crazy pulls potentially. All right, let's not spoil what's in the back because, you know, if it's a god card, it is a little bit spoiled. Uh, it's kind of hard to open them like this. So I got to go backwards in multiple ways, if you know what I mean. Uh, I'm not sure. That was just weird. It sounded weird in sketch when I said it. I just mean like the flaps on the other side and it's turned around. That's what I meant. Okay, almost the Tormentor. Okay, Slaver the Sky Dragon, Wing Dragon, a Raw, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, and what will the God card or... Oh, it is a God card. Slifer the Sky Dragon. So we got two God cards being given away today. That's going to be some value there. We'll take that. That's definitely helping our opening. All right, Dark Crisis. We need you to get a Skill Drain or Tsukiyomi as the rare and then get an Exodia Necros. That's what we need. Nintendogs playing a little Nintendo DS. We got Despair from the Dark, Mustering the Dark Scorpions, Ray of Hope. Pandemonium, Shadow Knight Archfiend, Different Dimension Gate, wrong rare, and will it be the right foil? No, it's not a foil at all. Magic, aka Spell Ruler. Not really any big rares in here in terms of value, so we're really just looking for a big foil like a Blue Eyes Tune Dragon. That would be huge. Relinquish would be pretty nice as well. Ceremonial Bell, Stone Ogre Grotto. We got a Labyrinth Wall, Shining Angel, and a Sonic Bird, the Bird of Sonic. Four packs to go, and we have not really pulled anything out of this one so far, besides the Slifer, which was a promo. Bless us, IOC with something big. Chaos End, the end of our comeback. Tyrion King Salmon, we have Balloon Lizard. Soul Absorption, Earth Chance, Burning Algae, Compulsory Evacuation Device, and a big koala. He's eating a tree, and he's big. Three packs to go, Pharaoh's Servant, 25th Anniversary Edition. Jinzo is in our wake. Will Jinzo be able to do it? We have Bombardment Beetle, Darkfire Soldier, Numero Uno. Oni Tank, Ruxin 34, a great pull. That's definitely going to make our money back. We have a three-headed Guido, Gust, Ground Collapse, Hayabusa Knight, and finally, we have a flying Kamakiri numero dos. So that's not great. Uh, a few things I need to mention in this video. These car god cards have the... Uh, error attribute it's like a different language and i i think they're all like that uh, i get that question a lot recently it's like oh is this like rare it's no it's not rare it's probably not gonna add any value unfortunately and also the ratios in these are about the same as old school packs so a lot of people think that uh they're gonna up the ratios or something they don't do that so you're probably not gonna have great pulls that's just how it goes out of these 
these old school packs. And like some, like there's like a half of people that are like, man, I miss the old days when there was, you know, you didn't get a super every pack. And then like at the same time, people are like, why are the pull rates hard? I thought I was supposed to get a foil. And it's like, you know, so good. All right, so uh, LOB, let's see if we can turn around right here. Dark World Thorns, I wanted to address that because a lot of questions have been coming in for the 25th anniversary and those are a couple of them. Two Mount Dark Ruler, we got Petite Angel, Mystical Moon, uh, Two Pronged Attack, and will we get something out of LOB? A Man Eater Bug, we'll take it. First foil of this one. So a lot of people have been going 0 for 6. I went 0 for 6 a few times in our 100, you know, mini box, not display, mini box opening. So uh, yeah, it happens a lot with this set. Metal Raiders, let's see if we can end it big. I don't think we can make our money back now, unless maybe Gay Guardian, I don't know, we'll see. We have Armin Lazard, Morinfin, Blast Juggler, Yadakaru, Punished Eagle, Little Swords on a Veil, Lava Battle Guard, our final card. Will we be able to make our money back from our Walmart run? I'm not feeling too good about it. Here we go. Vigory Vigory Box. Not a good way to end it, but I did enjoy this opening. If you guys enjoyed the vlog, let me know. And if you enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Michael James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.